you can do the frog test or you know the pas de char. Hello everyone and welcome back to my Autumn Fashion Edit 2022. Today's haul is one of my favourites to do every haul week but I feel like especially in autumn because their collections are always just so amazing. And that is of course Abercrombie & Fitch and guys I'm so lucky to be able to work with the brand so this video is sponsored but they have the cutest outfits this season and I just can't wait to show you. Also guys I'm going to try and speak a little bit softly in today's video because I can feel my voice just like going again. I'm actually terrified of losing my voice again. So it's just going to be nice, chilled, soft-spoken vibes today. But honestly, guys, in every other way, I just feel so like I'm coming alive. Honestly, all of these autumn outfits are getting me very, very excited. I've missed brown. I've truly missed brown. And there is so much brown in today's video. Like Abercrombie, the reason why they're one of my favorite brands is they just do neutrals so, so well and they give you like five different options of a neutral shade. So let's just jump straight in and go with the outfit that I'm currently wearing. I'm sure lots of you will have already noticed this adorable skirt. You guys know how excited I get when I find like a good skirt or good shorts, especially in autumn winter. I just feel like it's easy to do a cute flowy, you know, skirt or a pretty like florally pair of shorts in summer. But in autumn winter, I feel like it's really hard to get really beautiful, classy, like classic staples um, for the bottom half that are actually going to be wearable for autumn winter. So when I saw this, I was very, very excited because it's literally perfection. I've been really looking for something just like this. The brown is just the perfect shade of brown. It's like, absolutely gorgeous. I love a dark brown, but I remember like I got a couple of pieces um, in last year's haul week that were like so dark brown that they almost look black, which is like not what I'm after. So this shade is just perfect and I really love the fit as well. Um, I always find the fit in Abercrombie is just so true to size and I don't really need to worry um, about like sizing up or down particularly like I do with some other brands. Um, so if anyone's wondering, I pretty much always wear a size small in Abercrombie, which I think is the equivalent of like a UK 8 to 10 um, and they just always fit so well like this skirt is so so comfortable I really like this kind of um it's like an asymmetric waistline and I think it's giving like a really subtle but like flattering shape I love the little fake pocket the buttons it has a very retro feel without being like too over the top I genuinely never feel like I'm gonna find a fantastic skirt for autumn winter so when I do I just get super excited and I just know I'm gonna get so much wear out of this and um, they did have a few different colors as well of course if this isn't for you but I just feel like dark brown is just perfection because you can just pair it with any color top you can do whites and creams nudes beige camel pink um the top I'm also loving so much and you guys know I don't normally go for anything that like shows my skin on my top half in autumn winter. I literally live in turtlenecks, that's all I wear. And when I saw this, I was like, oh, I do think it's really cute, but I'm not sure I'll like it. But now I've got it on, I'm literally obsessed with it. The fabric is beautiful. It's basically a knit, but like a really smooth, soft knit. Um, so it's really super warm and comfortable. I think the neckline is so flattering and it's just a really fabulous staple piece for autumn winter, because again, you could just pair this top with endless, endless bottoms. Like I've got a pair of trousers in this video and a pair of shorts, and you could wear this top with all of them. So it's just a really great, like versatile piece. It's super feminine. I feel like in autumn, winter, the one thing that I don't like about it is I feel like there's not many opportunities to be super girly and still be like weather appropriate. Whereas I feel like this has really lovely feminine touches even though it's just a plain knitted top. But I really, really love it. And again, I can feel myself getting lots of wear out of this this year. Okay, next I'm being the tiniest bit cheeky because this blouse isn't actually Abercrombie. It's um, from And Other Stories. Um, but I really felt like when I got these shorts that I wanted to pair them with a blouse like this because the shorts are so, so cool and um, but they kind of have a little bit of a more like boyish masculine feel and you guys know that I love to like balance that out with a super like over feminine top like this um silky pussy bow blouse and I think the two just work so so well together um the shorts again just have such a nice fit 
they're so comfortable. I really get put off when I see leather shorts because I just feel like they'll be very uncomfortable, they'll be stiff, they'll be sweaty. But these ones are absolutely lovely. The leather is just a vegan leather, so it's not real leather, it's faux and it's super supple. Um, so as you can see, you can like really move around in these, they're really comfortable. They also had these in a few different colors and I was so, tempted to get them in the dark brown um, but then I thought because I'd already got the dark brown skirt and also the trousers coming up a dark brown as well and there's like actually loads of dark brown in this video I was like no let's go for the camel color just to have a little bit of variety in the video and I'm actually really glad I did because I think the color is stunning I just think again a pair of leather shorts or faux leather is such a wardrobe staple in autumn winter I just feel like they never really go out of style like never say never but they have been kind of in without being a trend for a long time so I think they're a really good like classic piece to have in your wardrobe and I was just thinking bag wise you could do a little neutral top handle which would look super super cute or a little pink like I love bringing a little touch of pink into the neutral outfit so yeah really really pleased with the shorts and I think the color is just gorgeous Next up guys, I have this absolutely beautiful dress that I saw and I just thought you guys would absolutely love it. It's so, so pretty. It made me gasp. It's just gorgeous. Like, can you see just how beautifully this dress fits and sits? It's something that I appreciate about Abercrombie so much because all of their pieces just fit nicely on the body. They sit well. They're not like they're just well made and I just really, really appreciate it. And this dress, I just think is perfection. Again, they had lots of different colors. This one is dark brown, but in different lights, it kind of looks different. Like right now I'm looking at it and it's like dark brown. It's like a chocolatey brown, which is my favorite. But in some lights, it almost goes a little bit like, um, like reddish, like burgundy, which I think looks so, so pretty. I love the sleeves. You guys know this is like my ideal kind of sleeve. Like. A great length bracelet length it's also got like a little bit of kind of loosey floatiness but in a way that's like really flattering and elegant the sweetheart neckline is so pretty and again just so elegant the way that it's fitted around the bust and then it's just really floaty and beautiful in the skirt um, and I've just paired it with my knee-high boots to show you guys how I would style it um, yeah it's definitely a dress for like I guess the warmer half of autumn because the fabric is quite delicate and floaty so it's not going to keep you super warm however I feel like it's such a lovely way just to keep those gorgeous like whimsical kind of boho super feminine vibes going through autumn because like I said before I feel like we kind of lose that a little bit in autumn winter also how cute does the Chloe Tess look with this dress I love pink and brown together it's like one of my ultimate color combinations but also this kind of like adds to the boho vibes i'm so obsessed and also i know that there's like so many people watching that don't live in cold climates like us here in the uk and you have like fall and autumn but it's still warm and you kind of like want to dress a little bit differently with the season but actually you don't have cold temperatures so i feel like if you're in a place in the world where it's still pretty warm in autumn or fall then this would be such a perfect option for you. Um, I wish that I could wear this more than I'm going to be able to because it's so, so beautiful. So guys, I think we can all agree that everything in the video so far has been very much like within my comfort zone. And you guys know that I do like to try something a little bit outside of my comfort zone if I can in every haul. So I thought that I would give these cool um, trousers a go. Let me just go back so you guys can see um, what they look like. So these trousers, they're like a split hem legging basically. Um, but I knew that if they were from Abercrombie, they wouldn't just be like leggings. The material is so, so thick because um, I would never wear leggings. Like, to be honest, I would feel so self-conscious. But these, I think I would actually feel very comfortable in because the fabric is very thick. It's very like, um, I don't want to say like supportive, but it kind of, I feel kind of snatched, if that makes sense. And I just thought it'd be nice to try like a cool trouser vibe because as you guys know, I've never really found like my trouser. The only times I've come close are when I was in Dubai and had like the long flowing ones it was basically like a skirt because there was so much material and also like in winter when I wear like white jeans with um over the knee boots tucked in and I kind of like how that looks but other than that I'm just not a trouser girl but I did think that these were very cool I got them in the dark brown again there were um other colors but I just felt like this style is very on trend it's quite a flattering style of trouser but I just thought guys that these are quite on trend and there's been a lot of like trousers that are on trend like super baggy ones or like low-rise stuff that I would just never 
ever, ever touch. But these I felt like could kind of be more my vibe because they're a bit retro. And I feel like these are kind of sophisticated without being um, too like office-y because sometimes when I try on like a pair of belted tailored trousers, I'm just like, they're cool, but they're not me. Whereas I feel like these have a sophisticated feel, but they are just more casual and wearable and they don't give me that office feel. They're also very, very comfortable. Like you can do the frog test or, you know, the pas de char, which I feel like, you know, I always do. Does anyone else do that when you try on a pair of trousers? Like you need to feel that you can move in them. And you know, you can definitely move in these. They're very comfortable. And I've just paired the trousers and with this, old white turtleneck, well it's not old, it's from Abercrombie last year, so I'm certain that they'll have something very very similar, although I'm kind of thinking now that I think I'd prefer like a super slim fitted turtleneck, I think, instead of this jumper. Um, although it does look really nice, I think I'd prefer something a bit more fitted. I'll just grab this bag because it's here. Um, I actually really like them. I do have a pair of trousers like slightly similar to these. Do you guys remember the Bershka ones that are like ribbed? Um, but the fabric on these is so much better because I just feel like it's snatching me a bit more than the Bershka ones, which I feel like just cling a bit more. There's a big difference between clinging and snatching. So if you're on the hunt for the perfect pair of trues this autumn winter, um, then truly look no further guys. I think these definitely fit the bill and there's lots of different colors. Okay, next we are kind of back in my comfort zone, but also kind of not because of the color. So we've got this really adorable little like tweed cohort. Annoyingly, I could only get the jacket in a size medium and I do think it looks too big. I think it's supposed to have this cute kind of like cropped feel and it's looking a bit too much like an actual jacket jacket, if that makes sense. Although I suppose if you were like wanting to layer a lot of knitwear underneath it, like chunky knits, then maybe you would size up. So just bear that in mind, I'm feeling like this does look a little bit too big for me, but I still really like the outfit. The skirt is actually a skirt, and when I put it on, I was like, oh my God, it's a skirt!" Because as a girl, like, don't you just feel more comfortable in a skirt? There's just something about it. And I just love it when it actually looks like a skirt as well, um, but it's just like little hidden shorts underneath. They should just all be like that, to be honest. But the skirt fits really, really nicely. It is a little bit on the short side, but I kind of feel like with this style, it has to be, otherwise you will kind of start to look a bit like an older lady. I think with this kind of fabric, you want to keep it really short, really fun. And I just think like with over the knee boots or tights, then I think it would look absolutely fine. And this is one of the rare occasions that I'm not gonna ban black tights because obviously this is black. Um, so I think black would actually look absolutely fine with this. Um, I really love the fabric though. And I really want you guys to like click on the picture and zoom in on the fabric because I feel like on camera when I'm stood kind of far away, um, it looks blacker than it actually is. Like the base color is black in the tweed, but then you've also got white and brown um, threads running through, which I really, really love. Um, and I think the fabric is absolutely gorgeous. It's super soft. Again, with this kind of thing, a lot of the time you'll order something and it will be very scratchy and not very comfortable to wear, but this is lined and the lining is super soft and the actual like tweed boucle fabric itself is super soft too. Um, and then underneath, I just put this little like knitted tank top. I think in reality, like when it gets colder, I would wear a turtleneck underneath this and it would look super, super cute, very 60s vibes, very retro but I really wanted to order this top because I just felt like it would be such a nice staple. It would be like a lovely travel top. It's a nice layering piece. It's so, so soft and it's very stretchy. I actually got this one in an extra small because I knew that it would stretch and I feel like small may have been sold out and that's why I did that. But yes, I absolutely love this. I wish I had the jacket in the right size because you guys know this is just the kind of outfit that I absolutely love to wear in autumn winter. Okay, next up I have a dress which is in the same fabric as the co -ord. And again, um, they do have different um, colors and fabrics in both of the outfits. So this is a cute little pinafore dress. I've just popped my own white tassel neck top underneath it. But the beauty of this is you can like mix and match this with anything you already have in your wardrobe, which I think is amazing. It's exactly what I wanted to do with my um, Flossie by Freddie Coco dress. I wanted to have something that was versatile that you could wear lots of different ways and just get a lot of wear out of. I will be honest, I'd say this is probably my least favorite thing in the haul so far, just because 
I'm not sure like it's doing very much for my body. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's quite um, wide around the waist. It's kind of supposed to be. It's not supposed to be like a fitted dress, in which case I think for me it would be cuter if it was. But I think um, because it's coming out in the waist, it's just giving me like a very triangular shape, which is not super flattering, but that's just my body. And I'm a bit sad because I do think it's super, super cute. I think I would have absolutely loved this if it like fitted me nicely. Um, also to point out, I did actually get this in a tall, which is something else that I love Abercrombie for, that they do petite, regular and tall. It's something that I would really love to do with Flossie in the future, hopefully as like the business grows, that's something we can offer. But I think it's really important because it's so like weird to think that we can all just like fit in the same clothes with all such different heights. So I'm actually really gutted that I don't really think this fits me nicely because the fact that it's tall and it has that little like extra inch or two inches of length just makes this so much more comfortable and wearable for me as someone taller. And I just think this is such a cute piece for autumn winter. The fabric is really nice and thick, so it will keep you very, very warm, especially layering it with a top like this. With over the knee boots or tights, it's actually gonna keep you perfectly warm in the cold weather, but you can still look really, really cute. It's also got major, major Gossip Girl vibes, which I'm obsessed with. It's giving me so much like season one, season two of Gossip Girl. Um, and I do really love it. I just kind of wish that it fit me a little bit nicer. Um, but yeah, other than that, I think it's a very, very cute dress. Guys, this dress, this dress. So remember I was talking about those people earlier on in the video who live in slightly warmer climates but still want to have a glorious autumnal wardrobe. I feel like this dress is maybe a little bit more for them. I feel like we could get away with this dress um, in the UK for the next like four weeks. It has pockets, which I know will please you guys. And honestly, for the first time in ages, this is a dress that has pockets that is not adding to the hip area at all, which is my main reason why I'm like, why put pockets in dresses? It just adds like an extra bulk to your hips. That I certainly don't want, but this literally doesn't have it. Like the pockets are completely undetectable. And I actually kind of like that this one has pockets. It just means you can like swish it around like this. It's so dramatic. When I saw this dress, I got so excited because the top half is basically identical to a dress that I got from Abercrombie in the summer. You know, the really kind of bright pink one, um, which is such a gorgeous dress and it has the most amazing puff sleeves. They're like dramatic without being super over the top. I feel like they're very, very wearable. This beautiful like ruched bodice that is just the most flattering shape in the world. The square neckline obviously, which I think is beautiful in this absolutely delicious, rich chocolate brown color. I just thought this dress is from heaven. It just fits like a dream. Like I'm telling you guys, if you ordered this, you would put this on and just feel fantastic. It's so comfortable, but it's so flattering on the body. I kind of also wish that they did do a little mini version so I could wear it with my over the knee boots. Um, but this is truly, truly gorgeous. I know lots of you do prefer a longer length in autumn, winter or all year round. It's just such an elegant dress. And again, it's a really lovely way to bring that like femininity back into autumn. Um, and I just think it's a dream come true. So yeah, if you're someone that lives somewhere that has a mild autumn, I'm so jealous of you. Although our autumn at the moment is really mild. I hadn't been out in like five days because I've been poorly and I went out yesterday for a walk. It was so warm and I was like, wow. So I feel like in England, we can wear this for like, a short while but this would be a really beautiful option if your autumns are quite mild if you were in like LA oh my gosh but yeah I was so excited to show this dress to you guys I knew you would absolutely love it um and yeah I just want to twirl around in this all day <laughs> And so guys, for the final outfit, I saved a rather good one until last, although I've also been a bit cheeky with this and just paired it with things that were already in my wardrobe, like this H&M um, skirt that I got last year. You could totally pair it with the Abercrombie one, but I just kind of liked the idea of having a pleated skirt with this look. And then underneath the jumper, I just popped a little old Abercrombie shirt of mine. Again, they always have these in stock. They're really easy to get hold of, and I would recommend Abercrombie ones because the quality is just so nice, and I've had mine for so many years and they just really last very well. But the main attraction is of course this sweatshirt, which I just think is the cutest thing. I've got two of these already. Abercrombie do these gorgeous like graphic sweaters that have really lovely like fonts and logos on them. And I have two already and I literally wear them every day when I'm at home. But I thought that this one would actually be such a nice sweater for like a proper going out outfit. I just could not resist it. First of all, I just love the color. It's like a beigey pale nude, which 
I just think is divine. It goes so nicely with all of the neutral tones. Then I also, of course, loved that it said Paris in this beautiful font in dark green. I just think it looks so opulent. It looks so beautiful. And on the logo, can you guys see? It's a swan. And you guys know I am a big swan lover. I love anything with swans on, basically. So when I saw this, I was like, I have to have it. And I really liked the idea of styling it in this kind of like uniform way. I feel like this kind of old money aesthetic is really going around on TikTok and people are really loving it. So this, I think, really gives that vibe, especially with like the pearl necklace underneath the shirt. Um, and the colors just look so cute together. You could wear this with little ankle boots, you could wear it with trainers, or if it's cold, you can wear it with tights over the knee boots and I just think it's such a cute little outfit so fun and stylish it's also very comfortable and super super warm as the sweater is fleece lined and it's so soft and cozy like I literally do not want to take this off right now and I just feel so so adorable in it so guys at the end of today's haul I really hope you loved it as always I'm dying to know which your favorite pieces were down below in the comments I think for me this jumper is such a winner. I also just love the skirt and top combo that I was wearing at the beginning, the little tweed two-piece co-ord. Oh my God, and the brown dresses. It's way too hard to choose. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.